specters of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. you will have to confront. Closer.
Another memory. Tattered decorations for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgird's holding. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My nurse, you've seen to everything. Same figure. Another dream of the past. Bet this one's incomplete too. Just a little different than Castel Rubello. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. A lavish feast. Trying to impress the guests. Olgird's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune.
My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? So let's follow him. Not you again. Don't like this place. Stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. are off. Living Tableau's missing something. Living Tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Hmm, still not right. Gotta look just like the painting. Here. Maybe on this side.
fits, I think. like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Pentagram's here to bind summoned beings. Minds aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. These wax candles. Foreign presences. Hmm. The tone of our depressing with demons in the winter. Blood? For some kind of magic, I bet. Chalk. Hmm. Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. I guess. What about this? Mm, not even a fizzle. Let's try this. Nothing. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace.
other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! started smoking. Probably not right. Probably not right. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. and all geared. Her father must have been holding the contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here, forever. Enough! You will not command us, you will... Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. Ladder. The same as then. Mm. You do the rest. A large clay bowl. Small bowl. For soup, maybe? Claw scratches. Animal hair. This was yours. Single place setting. 
papers on the table. not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard.